Hello and welcome back to the Cozy Club, my friends. My name is Cozy Gamer, and it is a beautiful day for some DSA. And it is a big day for DSA because Big Hero 6 has landed in Disney Sorcerer's Arena. We have a lot of things to cover on today's news video, but we have to start with Microbot Mania and Hero Hamada landing in the game. Guys, Hero is looking ridiculous and honestly i couldn't be more excited now we're gonna go and talk about all the spell changes and other things like that later in the video but let's look at hero's kit as the first thing we do this morning we are going to have an in-depth guide out for the entire big hero 6 clan in the tech gang but guys in the meantime if you want to see me use the big hero 6 squad or just hero hamada you can check me out today and tomorrow i'll be streaming live and of course we will be using Hero Hamada along with the other downtown hero characters that we have access to. And then as we get access to the other Big Hero 6 characters, of course, you know I will be getting Baymax on day one. And don't quote me on this, but I might seven star him day one. I love Baymax. If you've been here with the Cozy Club for a long time, you guys know I am a giant Baymax fan and I could not be more excited. Now it's looking like Sean Yu has some competition and that's going to be Hiro Hamada with his leadership ability. Now first thing I want to point out is that Hiro is going to be faster than Ana and most likely the Frozen gang which thank goodness hopefully the Frozen era has ended or at least we've got more competition going up against it. Hero's got some great stats. Again, we're going to do the entire in-depth guide video next week, but quickly looking at his max stats. He's got 1,038 offense, 393 defense, 16,004 health. It's nice to see he's got some recovery with 1,437 recovery. Guys, he has 112 speed and that is not to be taken lightly. Hero's going to be fast. He's got an ability we're going to go over that just looks ridiculous on paper and i'm interested to see how it flushes out all right just taking a quick look at his abilities he's going to hit 1200 damage to a target opponent and 10 percent chance to do damage to the adjacent opponents and that chance is increased five percent per tech teammate so it looks like he's going to have a lot of synergy obviously with the tech teammates in the big hero six but guys look at these other abilities micro barrier is going to grant shield to all of your teammates and evasion as if evasion wasn't annoying enough it looks like when claw comes out we are going to make sure we get that in cozy club it's one of the only spells that wasn't touched with this update so it looks like getting claw is going to be a good idea as it's a good way to get rid of the pesky evasion now his second ability upgrades it's going to cleanse stun which is interesting in the Target immediately takes a turn and Hero gains 40% speed turn meter. So what it looks like on paper is when Hero goes first, which looking at his leadership and his speed, it's hard to not see him go, you know, among the first units. He's going to be able to give the gift of full turn meter to anyone on the team. Now, I'm interested to see how this works, but this is going to create a lot of differences in theory crafting. So on his passive microwave, it looks like he's going to have a charge mechanic. I'm interested to see how that works with his shields. And then, of course, lastly, the lead, guys. And wow, this is ridiculous. His lead is going to give Sean Yu a run for his money. The tech teammates gain 10% speed and Big Hero 6 teammates gain an additional 10% speed. And what immediately sticks out to me is that there's tech and there's Big Hero 6. So I'm interested to see what they do with the tech faction, if you will, and who falls into that category. And Big Hero 6... It just all but confirms that Baymax is coming. So it looks like we're all going to have access to Hero Hamada because you can get him through the Microbot Mania event and you only need five heroes at these certain tiers. You can take a look at the event here and you can see the different things that you need to go through each tier. And it says unlock the master of technology. So I'm interested to see how he works not only with downtown heroes, but also with the rest of the big hero six squad. I'm so excited to test these guys out on stream and you know we will be playing a lot with them i'm curious to see if yokai or any of the other big hero six is coming immediately but i love how we were all expecting stitch and then bam big hero six comes on our front door the devs do keep us on our toes and cheers to that because i like being surprised also something to note is that hero has the second highest recovery and the second highest potency 
within the game and looking at his charge mechanics it looks like he's just gonna keep on putting shields and shields on his allies the more turns that hero gets the more shields that go out something to look at is when elsa revives herself she gives herself 2.4 thousand shields and that's hero's going to be giving a third of that to his teammates guys the shield isn't the most important part of his kit but just this small bit is looking very good and that's what's getting me excited all right now let's jump to the big july update that happened and of course we want to start with the biggest change and that is going to be the changes to spells and guys my goodness i think blue just likes watching me make top spell videos because i've got two released and then you're going to see something like this hey guys welcome back to the cozy club to the 19th top spells video in dsa <laughs> but seriously guys i'm actually pleased with the spell changes overall i think that these were the last bunch of spells that needed a little bit of tweaking besides fairy slumber that's the only last one that i think has an edge to the opponents but let's go ahead and jump in to what exactly changed in these spells and then what my opinions are about them starting with wild imagination it looks like my king lotso and friends are gonna get a little bit of a boost from this spell and i'm personally excited about it yes it got nerfed overall yes it probably needed to get touched up just a little bit i am sad that continuous damage teams are gonna take a little bit of a step down because of this um heal block continuous damage are now not going to be able to go on everyone it's just going to go on the primary target with the chances increased to go on adjacent targets if you have toy story allies now the big change to lotso is it's going to be adding fear to the enemies and guys this is big because previously all we had is the headless horseman to get fear out there and a little bit of silence and fear is what really drives the motor to Lotso's team. The more fear out there, the more turn meter that gets out to his ally. So I'm interested to see what happens with the new fear mechanic in Wild Imagination. And hopefully it gives Lotso that little bit of boost that I was looking for. All right, now going to dad moves, guys. Dad moves needed a nerf and it doesn't really matter which way you looked at it. Silence was a lot to handle. And honestly, it going out to your entire team was kind of deflating and now what it's going to do is go on the primary target and then it has the chance to go on adjacent targets this chance is going to go up if you have onward characters on your team and then they made a little tweak whenever you use dad pants previously it was going to give ian and barley undefeatable and now that's unstoppable which is obviously a big difference keep in mind the offense down is still going to be with dad pants so it's still a very powerful spell just a little bit of a tone down that I think it needed. Moving on to Golden Hammer. Now, this makes sense with all the downtown hero love that we're about to get with the Big Hero 6 squad now arriving. But Golden Hammer got a major nerf. And it's really only going to affect downtown hero characters to the fullest degree. It's looking more like a revived spell. But now, if they're a downtown hero character, when they're revived, they're going to get undefeatable. Now, that's very annoying for people like Dash. And I'm sure it's going to be annoying with the Big Hero 6 squad. And it's going to make tower a little bit harder. That was something that a lot of people relied on to get them through tower. But then again, if your characters needed the golden hammer, they're going to be dead or very low health going into the next wave anyway. So tick for attack. It depends how you look at it. And for the last spell change, it's cauldron and it's not going to charge anymore throughout the battle. This was something that was needed. And it's also not going to give a speed boost for all the allies. Something else that I think was needed to be done. So overall, all of these spells I'm okay with. I think it needed to be done. It looks like just from looking at the spells, we're going to be getting a Toy Story event sometime soon. Yes, we just got Hero dropping in, but it makes sense for them touching down these spells before they drop the Toy Story event. And I'm grateful that they did so that we didn't spend all of our money on Wild Imagination and some of the other ones. However, Claw did not get touched, like I said before, so snag that up the next time this Toy Story event comes by. We also have in the update, event only characters are now gonna be uh, in the ultimate chest, in the premium exchange, and also in the grand campaign chest. So this was a nice touch. You'll be able to snag yourself Rafiki, Simba, Ian, Barley, and Robin Hood, which will be a nice overall kind of gift to us. I know I'm just a couple shards of locking Simba, and it was kind of a pain to wait for the Lion King event to roll around. So this will be nice to finish up the Lion King squad. Again, if you haven't seen my Lion King and Death Guide, you can check that out right here. And for the last bit of an update, it looks like we've got a new Sorcerer Trial coming back. And guys, to be honest, these trials are coming back more frequently than I thought they were going to be coming, which is a good thing. My guess is it's going to be a mythical trial, but we could see the Oceanic Trial. We'll just have to see. We'll probably see the Oceanic Trial whenever we get uh, Moana or Stitch or some of those other Oceanic characters, as that makes the most sense. But with the new appreciated changes to the character tier list, 
to go through the tiers of mythical uh sorcerer trial it's gonna be the mythical trial we're probably looking at so make sure touch up your mythical characters and also be working a little bit on those oceanics because you don't want to be caught behind when that trial does launch because it's gonna be speed and of course speed is king and you need to get those speed stones cozy club guys i'm excited i am glad that you came and stopped by the cozy club again if you want to see me use these big hero six characters you can catch me in the stream i'll be streaming tonight which is going to be thursday july 9th or if you missed tonight you can go ahead and catch me tomorrow for the party stream it's gonna be a fun time i can't wait to get my hands on these characters let me know in the comments below are you pumped for the big hero six coming to this game guys i know i am y'all if you enjoyed the content be sure to subscribe and join the cozy club today don't forget to like the video leave a comment below on what your favorite thing coming to dsa is or what you're looking forward to becoming i love talking to you guys in the comments i'll see you guys next time right here at the cozy club and until then of course stay cozy my friends Ooh.